All right, like a lot of people in the United States, I hate bees. Um, I actually did get stung by them when I was really little, so I'm not happy with them. But the only thing I do love about bees is the honey, because on a summer's day, they have bread, cream, cheese, and honey. That's my thing. So I actually have been reading Time for Kids, and the entire article is all about bees. So I decided, what the heck, I'll just read. And two pages worth. It says that something has happened to the bees, some kind of CCD, which is colony collapse disorder. More than two dozen states have lost bees, or the population of bees have gone down. So, but in this tiny little area right here, this honeycomb, it says how they make honey, and it is so interesting. And of course, I couldn't do it without the lovely assistance of my board. I have no idea what I was doing without, I just love it. All right. How bees make honey. Okay. Let me position it correctly. Alright, cool. First step, I'm not gonna do the picture like I did last time. First step is a field bee carries nectar in its mouth. And the, after that, it travels to the hive bee and gives the mouthful of nectar to the house bee. Alright, so the house bee takes the nectar and puts it inside the hive's six-sided honeycomb cell. And then the nectar, the nectar is basically sweet water. From there, it needs to dry. Don't ask me why. That rhymes. Um, so the bee dries it with its wings. It flaps its wings, you know, dries things. In order to make it honey, it has to um, put wax on top of it. So after a few days when the wax is on top of the dried nectar, it turns into honey. But I just think it's amazing how when bees are born, they have the instinct and they know exactly what to do. And this isn't easy, this is like a week's worth. And you get maybe like a drop of honey, green honey. And that's how bee makes honey. Thank you for watching.